Hello everyone, I'm Rose and welcome to the first episode of Kortha Art Gallery's Art Adventure series. This is the first video in a series of five where we'll be making some awesome crafts together this summer. Today we're going to be making a paper bowl jellyfish and an egg carton caterpillar. So without further ado, let's get started. For today's crafts we'll need one paper bowl, washable paints, white glue, a black marker, some paint brushes, some scissors, a pencil, some tissue paper, any color, googly eyes, one paper clip, one pipe cleaner, and one egg carton. Now that we have our crafting supplies ready, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make the base for our jellyfish. So you're going to grab your paper bowl, place it down on the table. Next, you're going to grab the pencil. You're going to put a little dot right in the center of your bowl and then you're going to push down and make a hole through to the other side. All right. With that done, let's get to the painting. Okay, now that we have our paints chosen, you can choose any colors you like. For the base of mine, I think I'm going to do purple. And then I'm going to do some detail with spots. You can add as many or as little colors as you like. So let's get started. First you want to open up the paint that you want as your base. And you want a pretty big paintbrush. Let's paint the base. Also, if you're messy like me, maybe wear a shirt that you can get paint on. Okay, now that our base is completely coated, I'm just gonna rinse off my paintbrush and we're just gonna give this another two minutes or so until we start doing our details. And I'll see you then. Ta-da! This is already dry enough that we can start doing our details. So for my details, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller paintbrush and I think I'm gonna do some blue spots. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of blue on my paintbrush and I'm really just going to put spots wherever I feel that it's right. Like maybe it might have one here. Okay, I think my spots are done. So before we move on to the next step, it's really important that this dries completely. Why don't we get started on the next craft while we wait for this to dry? We're gonna grab the body for our egg carton animals. When we have our egg carton out, we're gonna grab our scissors and I'm gonna show you today how to make an egg carton caterpillar. So you're just gonna take your scissors. Now, if you're a little bit younger, you might wanna get some parent supervision because sometimes the cardboard like this one can be a little tough and safety scissors probably won't work. But then you're just gonna cut out three of the little egg homes. And see these little parts that are kind of higher up than the bottom? We want this all to be even, so I'm just gonna snip those off until they're even with the rest of the edges of my caterpillar. So now you have your caterpillar base. Let's add some paint. Okay, so let's get painting. We have our three sections. So you can either do one color for the entire three sections of our caterpillar, or you can do what I've done. And I've just chosen three different colors. I want each part of my caterpillar to be a different color. So once you have your chosen colors, you're gonna grab a paintbrush and just get started covering the entire body of the caterpillar in paint. I think that looks pretty good. So while we wait for our caterpillar's body to dry, why don't we head over and see how our jellyfish is doing? Look at that. Our jellyfish is completely dry. So the next step is you're going to want to take the paper clip that we've set aside and your string. Now depending on where you want to hang these from, you can choose any length of string you like. I think I'm going to just measure out my arm's length, maybe a little bit more, and then just take your scissors and cut. So now that you have your paper clip and the string, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the end of the string and thread it through the paper clip 
around the middle bend of the paper clip. Now, if you don't know how to tie a knot, I'm gonna do this up close, but if you struggle, just ask your parent to help you. Once you have two ends, you're gonna take the end and loop it around and just tie it like this so you have a little pretzel. Tie it tight and then we're just gonna do the exact same thing with the leftover string. And there you go. Next up is we're gonna attach our string to our jellyfish. Just gonna take the other end of the string that you've cut off, put your jellyfish upside down and thread your string through the hole. Once you've grabbed your string on, you wanna pull it right through so it's nice and tight. So you have your little jellyfish cap on the end of the string. Let's do its tentacles. Grab your tissue paper. You can use any color of tissue paper you like. I am gonna use purple tissue paper because it matches the color of the base of my jellyfish. So you're gonna to wanna to unfold your tissue paper and then just get your scissors and cut out strips from the paper. Just like this. All right, once you have all your jellyfish tentacles cut out, let's take our jellyfishes back and turn them upside down. So you're gonna wanna grab your white glue. You're just gonna wanna put little dabs of glue all the way around the center of your bowl. So once you have it nice and covered, we're gonna take our tentacle and use our fingers to stick it into the glue. Then repeat the process with all of your tentacles. Now, once your jellyfish has all of its tentacles, you're just gonna let it dry until the glue is completely dry and the tentacles are firmly attached to your jellyfish. In the meantime, let's finish off our caterpillar. Luckily, our caterpillar is good and dry. The next step is to just grab your googly eyes. I have non peel and stick googly eyes, so I'm just gonna use little dabs of white glue where I want the eyes for my caterpillar. Look at that, and he's almost done. Let's grab some pipe cleaners to make his little antennae. So what I'm gonna do is cut my pipe cleaner in half. It doesn't have to be exact. Then I'm gonna fold that in half and cut it again. Then I'm gonna roll the ends of our little pipe cleaner and just make a little indent about where I think I want them to go. Grab our pencil that we used for the jellyfish, just make a little tiny spot to put the antennae and do the exact same with your other one. And our egg carton caterpillar is almost done, but I think he's still missing one thing. Let's see. Just take your marker and make a little smiley face for him. And there you go. Now, let's put our friend aside while we finish off our jellyfish. So we're gonna do basically what we did for our caterpillar. We're gonna add a couple little googly eyes and a smile. All right. So we're gonna do what we did before and just add a little dollop of glue to coat the back of our googly eye. Stick it on there. I'm gonna do the same with the other. Now, that shouldn't take too long to dry, but let's go ahead and add the most essential part of any craft, which is a little smiley face. I'm gonna go right down and just draw a little smile for our jellyfish. Thanks for watching the first video in Kortha Art Gallery's Art Adventures. I hope you all had fun making crafts with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to be on the lookout for tomorrow's video where we'll be making two more super fun crafts. See you then! If you followed along with today's video, be sure to ask your parents to send a picture of your craft to art at and include your first name and age to be featured on our website.